So now once we have configured Nudge with Eclipse, let's see how to start First crawling. First of all, go into the Eclipse workspace and here into your project Nudge 1.9. Here you need to form a URLs folder which I've already formed here and in that you need to have a .txt file give any name you like and in this .txt file you have to give the name of some URL one or more URLs which you want to give as the starting point for the first crawl. First of all download two files from the link given below the video and these files are fetcher output format dot java and parse output format dot java. It is because java. the existing fetcher output format dot java and parse output format dot java files in your source are not compatible they with use windows newer, uh, versions of hadoop which as is not supported by windows. So download them and place them uh, in example this part for fetcher output format dot java. Here open your nudge 1.9 in your workspace go to source java org apache nudge fetcher and here paste fetcher out new fetcher output format dot java similarly in parse uh, paste new parse output format dot java replacing the old file so once you have Go done to this Eclipse workspace and here now we'll start crawling but before that you know you may face some problems uh, like during the fetcher operation when the actual downloading of uh, data corresponding to a particular URL many threads from the may get hung due to timeout. The remedy so for is that, go to your workspace nudge 1.9 and here under conf go to nudge site.xml open with wordpad or notepad any text editor and here define one property uh, named mapred.task.timeout and give it some very high value now the timeout can occur when the content to be downloaded from a url is very very large and then what happens is that content also can't be downloaded and moreover all the threads get hung disrupting the whole fetcher operation and ending that operation so uh, untimely now everything is set right we can start crawling now in the eclipse window click on this run icon run configurations under java application new we'll start with inject operation give it a name browse nudge 1.9 search for the main class its injector class under all Roll, apache dot click okay. Okay. now under arguments we have to give two arguments first is the output argument and second is the input argument input argument as we know it was urls slash that is the folder containing the seed list of urls and the first argument is the output folder which we slash say define as crawl db so here crawl db defines the uh, subdirectory where the already discovered urls will be uh, saved along with their status in the form of crawl datum and injector is the main directory where all the crawl related info will be stored now vm arguments here will define the hadoop log file um, this is going to be constant for all these sub operations whether it is inject to uh, generate fetch parse update any operation and now we'll apply it and click on run proceed the errors don't affect our crawl in any way so simply start crawling by clicking on proceed now this operation has finished inject operation has finished and our crawl database that is crawl db's injector slash crawl db i'll show you it uh nudge 1.9 here we have injector crawl db has been formed okay now next step is generating a list of urls after normalization and fil filtering 
that is uh, comes under the generate operation so we will again define a new java application uh, name it generate uh, gen operation and the project name is nuch 1.9 and main class it is generator org.apache.nuch.crawl click ok the vm arguments are going to be same as we know and program Here we have arguments to give two arguments these are uh, the first is the input folder and the second is the output folder now the segments directory will contain the crawl data um, corresponding to every iteration so our input folder is uh, injector slash crawl db and the output folder is injector slash segments slash okay um, apply it and run it so we can clearly see a uh, subdirectory in the segments has been formed it corresponds to the first iteration and it's named by the current time on which it was formed i'll show you that it is formed now injector segments and here is the name of the segment we uh, saw in the console window it currently has crawl generate that is the fetch list uh, of the urls to be finally fetched from the internet now now the next step is actually downloading the content corresponding to these urls so here the fetcher class will come into being new java application name it fetch operation fetch op the project name is nuch 1.9 main class search for it it is fetcher under org.apache.nuch.fetcher click ok now arguments vm arguments are going to remain same these and program arguments now we just need to give one argument that is injector slash segments slash two star since we have only one uh, segment currently uh, and its name starts with two so we'll give it like this only instead of giving the whole name from here the fetcher will pick up the list of the urls to be fetched now apply it and run it now this is the operation where you actually require the use of internet there is a fetch operation uh, only the fetch operation of your crawl crawl of your whole crawl requires the um, internet now next step see as we can see content and crawl fetch have been generated by the fetcher operation now next step is passing this content to get the outlinks so define new java application name it parse operation project name is nuch 1.9 main class is parse segment because we are passing a particular segment only and the arguments these will remain same and program arguments again they are same as that of fetcher because now we want to parse this the data collected in this segment apply it and run it now as you can clearly see the segment is being parsed and the only, there was only one url defined currently and it's shown that this url has been passed parsed so we get three folder new folders crawl parse parse data parse text now after this with these newly found outlinks we want to update our crawl db so again run configurations under java applications new name it update operation the project name is nuch 1.9 and the main class search for it 
it is crawl db org dot apache dot nudge dot crawl okay and the arguments are vm arguments will remain same and the program arguments these are two arguments first is the output folder where we actually want to perform the update operation that is we want to update the list of already discovered urls that is the crawl db database and the input folder is injector slash segments slash two star since we currently have only one segment apply it and run it and so the segment according to this segment uh, this database has been updated i'll show you so we have this folder injector crawl dbc here we have current and old database too just as a backup so now one iteration is complete in the next iteration now again we will generate a fetch list now we don't need to perform the inject operation once again because we only need a seed list of urls to initialize a crawl to give an initial set of urls now our iterations will consist of generate fetch parse update generate fetch parse update and so on up to the number of iterations you want to continue with so again i'll go to i'll generate a new segment as you can see a new segment has been generated i'll also show you it once segments a new segment has been created and named according to the current system clock time so now we need to fetch this segment for this we need to change make changes in our fetch operation java application so fetch operation arguments and here now since we don't have only one segment we want to explicitly define the segment so we'll paste the name of new segment here apply it and run it now this time the fetcher operation will take more time as the crawler is expanding and finding new links here our total queues are more than one and the total uh, number of urls being processed at a certain time is also as being you can given. see this is taking a lot of time this uh if you hadn't set your map.task.timeout to a larger value perhaps your threads would have been so here is hung. where lies the importance of overriding the value of map.task.timeout in your notch site as XML. you can see the fetcher operation in iteration 2 is also complete and here in injector in the segment second we have content and crawl fetch now we can do the same thing for parse operation just change this argument uh, giving the name of the current segment so next step now update the crawl db with the newly discovered urls update operation just need to change the segment name to the current segment after this again generate operation now in generate operation every time we don't need to change the any arguments so you can simply run it again a new segment has been formed we can continue with the iterations as long as we desire to so here we have learned how to crawl with nudge in eclipse